Hi, everyone. You might recognize this scene. We're back at the fair. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, <laughs> luring you into a false sense of security that we left. I wanted to show a couple of things that I didn't do at the fair. These obviously aren't required things, but just a couple of funny things that you can do. Uh, one is, if you go to the archery tournament too early, I wish to enter the tournament. You and I? That's a joke. You're too early anyway. Come back and repeat your just later, and I'll consider letting you enter. So if you show up too early, you know, you just kind of get boxed in by these three guards. How come the other archers are allowed? That's not fair. Yeah, it's a little... Uh, oh, it's Adam Bell. Yeah, I know. Oh. Adam Bell and uh, this serious archer are here. Uh, and you can talk to the guards, and they just say you're too early. They all say exactly the same thing. Come back later, you're too early. But what's kind of funny is if you try to touch them, this guy just says, stay back. Keep your distance, knave. But this one is kind of funny. Lay a hand on me, dog, and you'll hang tomorrow. But if you keep doing it, one warning is enough. He just keeps saying the same <laughs> thing. One warning is enough. But he apparently... One warning is never enough. Apparently he's quite satisfied to keep saying one warning is enough. Uh, and I don't think I can shoot them. Yeah, if I draw an arrow here, I'll be dead before my fingers touch the string. Can we bribe them? Oh, we're too early. All right. There's that, and the other thing is, I didn't show what happens if you actually run into the wrong scholar. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to talk to Marion before the scholars uh, uh. start showing up. Alright, well let's talk to Marion. Yeah, I think... Okay, are we done talking to Marion? Alright. Let's see if now we can make the scholars show up. Marion oh. is... Oh, come on, uh. Marion's still there. <laughs> Where did she go anyway? Does she, uh... I guess she walks across the whole length of the, uh... The fair, and... She walks very slowly. Well, she's ladylike, and she's obviously not in so. any hurry. She's just kind of strolling along. So she's here. So this is the end of the fair now. This is the the final screen, and I don't think she walks all the way to the archery tournament. Oh, I so. thought she disappeared for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. She vanished into thin air. Well, she is a witch. Yeah. Um, or so they say. And then she she went that way, but if you try to follow her... Well, that's because she's sitting somewhere in the... Oh, there's one of the fake scholars. Okay, so this is a scholar. Ha! Top of the day, Literatus. Greetings, yeoman. Whom have I, whom have I the honor of addressing? Puck is my name. That's a heavy book you carry. I knowledge is a weighty matter. Are you a seeker after wisdom, good sir? Forsooth, I am, as you've rightly guessed. Have you a book with the coat of arms of King of Man? That should have a question mark after it. I can indeed help you with that. Is this it? <clears throat> and there are the guards. Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm behind the fortune teller's booth. Now, notice the guards show up. That's your first clue. Yeah. But also, he shows you the wrong coat of arms. So, let's say, uh, well, let's say no, because that's not it. Is this it? No, that's not it either. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. You aren't doing so well, my friend. What do you mean I'm not doing so well? How come he's asking us what the coat of arms is? Are you sure you don't have that coat of arms? Oh, look again. Is this it? I'm not sure if he even knows. See, I don't quite get Wait, this oh, part. Oh, the guards are coming from another direction this time. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if he quite knows himself what the right coat of arms is. You think the spies would study this kind of thing? You think they would at least know, but he probably didn't expect us to ask for the coat of arms of the King of Man. But the thing is, if you say yes, he's like, It is? Ah, uh, ah, of course it is. And the guards walk away, and if you talk to him again... Now, if you, I think if you always if you talk to them the third time, then they say, I believe you're the man we want after all. Seize him! And then the guards show up again. And they pause. And, and Robin Hood Robin. <laughs> tries to run away and then suddenly gets no, tired. No, I think he's just getting... Look! He's got a good eye under this patch! I think he was just trying to get into our view. I know that face! It's Robin Hood! It's Giles again. To the gallows with him! Like the same two guards on every single post. Alas, after all the warnings Robin had about the prince's spies, he still fell prey to one. Aye, his caution failed him. 
He's learned better now. Tis a painful education when taught upon the gallows. Let us hope that those who study their mistakes will learn from this lesson and improve upon their scholarship in the future. Alright, so there you go. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've pretty much now shown off everything. Uh, well, except for what the third scholar looks like. Oh, there's another scholar, but it's but not who that... Who cares? Who cares? It's not that big a deal. Basically, they're spies for the, um, for the king. Anyway, so we've got these three outfits here. I think you can, at your option, pick up one of these outfits and change into it, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go ahead and go outside and begin... I think this is day nine. I was about to come for you, Robin. There's a stillness in the forest that disturbs me. I suspect some danger, and I've warned all the men to be alert and stay close to hiding places. What sort of danger? I cannot say yet, but I urge you, go slowly and carefully through Sherwood. I fear not even shortcuts will be safe today. Your wood skills are subtler than mine. I'll heed your warning. And yes, indeed, take his warning seriously, because today the day begins with the sheriff's men doing a methodical sweep of the forest. And what I would do actually is... Um, oh, I can't even pick my map. That's kind of a drag. Actually, I think I can pick my map from here. Yeah, I can pick my map from here. What I'll want to do is go to this uh, oak tree, and I'll want to stay close to it. For some reason, I've never been able to make the willow thing work. In theory, I should be able to get protection at the willow grove. Yeah, for some reason, they never, ever go there. It doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't seem to work, though. So I'll just go ahead and... Yeah. Oh, there we and go. And whenever you hear that weird music, and he runs to the center... What the devil? It sounds like a horde of men crashing through the forest. Then they're after you. All right, so now we're being chased. So I'll go ahead and save the game. Oh, look, there's one. Over here, it's Robin Hood. Robin Hood. The sheriff's men are nearly upon me. Let's stay and talk to them. Paused. <laughs> Hold fast, I surrender. What, seriously? Surrender? Ha, we it's want It's Roger dead. again. What the heck? Oh, that didn't. What? We got him! We killed the most famous outlaw of them all. Don't look like much, do he? Well, he's dead, you twit. What do you think he should look like? I don't know. Bigger like. Roger, if Brains was a blemish, you'd be sportless. Except I thought the person talking was not Roger, but... Whatever. He's plenty big enough for me, lads. What with the sheriff's reward will be rich men. Get on with it, then. Cut off his head as proof and let's drink the pub dry. All right. Can I try shooting at them? Oh, apparently that doesn't work either. <laughs> if you shoot him, you get an arrow in your chest. Yeah. What you need to do is take the uh, take the oak tree's advice and use the oak for protection. Remember when the oak tree said it would protect us when we were in need, when we were in danger? So what you do is you click the, the hand on yourself and... Um, Oh, crud, I don't have the the code on me. I forgot it. Um, let me I see. I think the first one is, like, the point of your finger. Well, let's see. So here's one interesting thing. Uh, no, a previous commenter pointed out that if you type a wrong letter, you can click on it to get rid of it. So that's... Okay, so D see, is there. Right. Yeah. So... And then I think it's, like, there or something. So what we need to do is... Spe oh. oh, there we go. So the U is down here. What we need to do is spell out the name of the tree that we're seeking the protection of. And we're near an oak tree. But the trees only answer to their druid names. So the druid name of the oak tree is actually Dwir. D-U-I-R. Now, where is that R? Come on. Ah, where's the... What? Oh, you have to do that all over oh, again. Oh, come on, man. Where... Oh, here we go. There's R. Okay, right. so it was here, and then there. No, wait. Here? Wait. No. Where's Pointer the... finger. Oh. oh. Pointer finger. Shoot. <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? No. Why did he... Why does it keep... Pointer to... finger, right there. Okay. Then here. No, here. Okay. Hold on. And I can't remember the third finger. There we go. Yeah. And then where was R? I think it was somewhere by the pinky. There we go. Yeah. All right. There we go. And Good Robin job. Hood is transformed into a tree. 
Nobody really notices that a tree just appeared. Yeah. But Roger slash Giles slash other guy isn't too bright. Apparently it never really struck, it never occurred to the guards before to just do a sweep of the forest. I don't know how long Robin Hood's been doing his whole Robin Hood act, but... The danger is past, fleshling. Return to your native form and go in peace. So you can do this basically at any uh, at any area where there are funny looking trees, but uh, they have different names and we can't remember them. Well, they're in the manual. All the druid names of these trees yeah. are... Uh... Well, they're in the manual, but I mean, also it's easier just to take a shortcut to the oak tree and not try to wander around the forest looking for little clusters. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of time, so we'll see you later, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.